day good day everybody and once again we're back together so we're looking at question number 10 this is on the photoelectric effect so please if you haven't subscribed we are uh, uh, please just make sure that you do the right thing and we are going to continue to give you some good content in maths and science and um this is from the may june 2025 exam and honestly speaking yo this exam had hands eh all right, so let's look at the last question. They say the light, uh, rather light of different frequencies is incident on a metal plate. The sketch graph below shows the relationship between the maximum kinetic energy, that's EK max, of the photoelectrons and the energy of the incident photons. Right, now they say to us, describe the term work function of a metal. Right, now I want you guys to please remember that when we talk about the work function, we say this is the minimum energy that is required to emit electrons from a metal surface, right? At least I remember that one, okay? Uh, please, guys, remember your, your definitions. So they say, write down the numerical value of the gradient of the above graph. So please remember, when you're given this graph of Ek max against the energy of the photon, the, the, the gradient there is actually Planck's constant, Okay. And remember that you are given Planck's constant. Okay, that's 6.63 times 10 to the power minus 34. Right, if you don't remember it, uh, you can always go and refer to your uh, table of constant. It is exactly that value over there. Okay, right, now let's go for the next question. So they say... Calculate the maximum speed of the photoelectron when photons with uh, energy Y, as shown in the graph, strike the metal plate. Now, so we can see that the maximum kinetic energy of the photon there, when our uh, the energy of the photon is Y, the kinetic energy will be 2.99. Now, please don't forget... This is times 10 to the power negative 19, right? We're looking for speed. We've got the uh, kinetic energy and we know that EK is equal to a half mv squared. Now, remember, we are looking for the speed of an, uh, the ejected electron, right? Photoelectrons, there it is. Right, so that's going to be 2.99 times 10 to the power minus 19. That's 1 over 2. Now, this mass here is the mass of an electron, right? And please note once again, you are given the mass of an electron. There it is over there. That's 9.11 times 10 to the power negative 31. Okay. And this is multiplied by V squared. All right, so let's... Uh, uh, divide both sides there by a half of 9.11. So that's 2.99 exponent of negative 9, uh, sorry, negative uh, 19. And this is divided by um, a half, so 0 0.5 times 9.11 exponent of minus. 31. Okay, and that gives us uh, that huge value, okay? And now we are going to take, remember that gives us V squared, right? But we're looking for V, so we're supposed to take the square root of that answer, okay? And that gives us, all right, I'm going to look for that answer in scientific form. Uh, that's going to be 8.1. So the speed is 8.1 times 10 to the power of 5. And this is meters per second. All right. So that is the speed of the uh, ejected electron in that case. Right. So let's go to the next question. They say calculate uh, the value of y. So remember y would be the energy of the photon and how do we get that we know that the energy of the photon 
would be equal to the work function plus ek max. All right. So how can I get uh, the energy of the photon in this case? So I'm going to say, well, E, the work function. Now, in this case, I have the threshold frequency. OK. Uh, in fact, no, that's not the threshold frequency. This is not a graph of frequency against a kinetic energy. That's the graph of energy against uh, the kinetic energy against the energy of the photons, right? So this would be actually the work function. So which means this is going to be 3.8, uh, 3.68 times 10 to the power minus 19 plus um, EK max at Y. And that EK max was given to us Okay, as 2.99 um, times 10 to the power of minus 19 as well. All right, so the value of Y, okay, that's the energy of the photon. Um, in that case, Right, uh, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to get 3.68 right, plus 2.99. Okay, that gives me 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 19 joules, right? Now, please be careful, ladies and gents. Usually when they give us this graph, uh, that is a graph of frequency usually uh, against... Um, yeah, so I guess uh, perhaps that does change the, the gradient of the graph, doesn't it? Okay, so which means I've, I'll have the change in EK over the change. So in this case, what does the gradient then give me? So that's the change in EK, change in Y over change in, in X, um, change in uh, E. Okay, so if I look at this, E is equals to omega 0 plus uh, EK. Yeah, that does present us with a bit of a, an issue over there, right? Huh. Okay, um, I don't know if perhaps the examiner may have wanted uh, to use the, the frequency there, but in this case, I am going to assume that um, we are dealing actually that that is actually the threshold uh, or, or rather the work function of the metal. OK, right. So. Let's see. So they say photons with a, an energy of 4.02. OK, strike the metal plate and the photoelectrons are emitted. Right. So they say the number of photons with uh, with energy 4.02 striking the metal plate per second is now increased okay so which means we are increasing the intensity the more the intensity the more the number of photons that are released now they are asking us the question how will the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons uh, be affected choose increase decrease or remain the same um guys they will essentially so what we've done is we've increased uh, the intensity, but we have not increased the 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 rather the energy or the frequency of the photoelectrons, right? So that means that it will essentially just remain the same, okay? Why? Because nothing about the energy of the photon is affected, and the reason for that, we can say that. Uh, Right, EK max remains the same because uh, the energy of the photon okay, remains constant. Okay. Right. So that is really how the cookie crumbles, ladies and gents. 
and we are going to leave it there. So re please remember, what does uh, increasing the intensity actually affect? It will only affect, in this particular case, uh, it will only affect the number of photoelectrons that are emitted per second, and so that will affect the photo current, but it will not affect the speed of the photoelectrons, okay? Right, ladies and gents, that was out of 150 marks. I hope that you were able to watch uh, all the other videos, and this will help you towards your preparation, towards your prelims, okay, uh, also towards your final exams. Um, I hope that you will still stay tuned to this channel. And guys, please engage with us on all our social media platforms. And if you've got any questions, please be part of our uh, memberships. All right. Uh, to become a member, just go to the join button, which is next to, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the button that you use to subscribe and become a member of this channel. You can also support us in many ways that you uh, you can, all right? You can go on to our website. All the details that you need will be on the description of this video, all right, guys? I'll see you again next time. Please stay committed to improving on your physics. I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.